my dear students. It's my pleasure to teach you today. Our lesson is for grade 11 students. It's going to be reading comprehension and a little bit of set book. Stay with us. I will be with you right after a short break. <laughs> Welcome back, my dear students. As I told you, our lesson is going to be reading comprehension. In reading comprehension, we have four different parts. First part is choose the correct answer from A, B, C, and D. The second, questions with reference to the passage. Third is summary making. And finally, it's translation. Let's go over some of the words. First word is kid. You can see from the picture. Of a vehicle to slide, typically sli sideways, on slippery ground or as a result of stopping or turning too quickly. Let's read the example together. The car skidded on the icy road. So skid over here means slippery, correct? Now, collision. What does collision mean? What do we see together over here? Two cars, okay, which means a crash. What happened to these two cars? They are banged each other. They hit each other. It's a crash of an object into something. And we have an example over here. There was a collision on the motorway. So collision, in other words, means an accident. And our third word is full proof. It's incapable of going wrong or being misused. And over here, we have another example for it. The new video recorder is supposed to be full proof. My dear students, let's start with our first question. How can we reduce road accidents? How can we reduce them? What do you think? We have to what? Improve car safety features and following traffic rules. So if you follow traffic rules, you will what? You won't have a lot of accidents, right? Now, our passage. Let's start and read with me. There is no doubt that in the future, Manufacturers will continue to make their cars safer. However, safety devices do not offer a foolproof guarantee. Only when everyone drives more carefully will road accidents become a thing of the past. Cars have had seat belts for many years, first in the front seats, then later in the back seats. Seat belts are designed to retain people in their seats and so prevent or reduce injuries suffered in a crash. Without them, a driver or front seat passenger can be thrown through the windscreen in a head-on collision. In modern vehicles, seat belts are also designed to work as the key component in wider injury prevention, measures, and safety systems. These systems include features such as airbags and head restraints, which will not be as effective in reducing the risk of injury if an occupant is not wearing a seat belt. Do you understand so far? Okay, let's move on with the passage over here. As you can see, they're talking about what? The safety measures, the safety things, inventions that reduces what? In car accidents. Let's read together. The anti-lock brake system helps drivers to avoid accidents by making cars stop more quickly than those with ordinary brakes. Over here, they're talking about the brakes in the cars. Now, ordinary brakes can lock if the driver presses his foot too hard or too suddenly. 
The ABS prevents the wheels from locking and this means cars do not skid. Skid over here means, yes, slippery. Now, road accidents kill and injure thousands of people every year. So car makers are always trying to think of new ways to improve safety for drivers and passengers. Seat belts and anti-lock brakes are two examples of the improvements that have been introduced to the vehicles in recent years. In addition to improvements in car safety features, car manufacturers have also strengthened the body of the car. If the car is in an accident, the people in it will be crushed. However, the front and back parts of cars have been weakened so that if a car is in a crash, these crumple zones, rather than passengers inside, will absorb as much of the crash energy as possible in frontal and rear accidents. Now, my lovely dear students, let's begin with our questions. The best title for the passage would be after reading it, what do you think is the most suitable title? Car safety, drivers, anti-lock braking systems, or seat belts? What do you think? Very good, it's talking about car safety. It's not talking only about drivers. It's not talking only about anti-lock braking systems and also not about seat belts. It's a mixture and it's all about car safety. Let's look at the question number two together. What does the personal pronoun them refer to? Look at them in the paragraph. What does it refer to? In order to know the, what does it refer to, you always have to read the sentence before the word. For example, seat belts over here. Let's read in the beginning. Seat belts are designed to retain people in their seats and so prevent or reduce injuries suffered in a crash. You can realize over here, I read the sentence before the sentence that them is used. So then it says without them. What is them over here? What do you think? It's seat belts. Over here they're talking them about the seat belts. What does the personal pronoun them refer to? Is it injuries, people, seats, or seat belts? Correct, it is seat belts. Let's look at question number three. What does the personal pronoun it refer to? We have four options, let's read them together. Body of the car, accident, the car, or car safety. What do we do? We have to go back to our passage and read through. Where, does, where is it? Okay, it's in the third line. So in order to know what it refers to, we always go back. Let's read from the beginning. In addition to improvements in car safety features, car manufacturers have also strengthened the body of the car. If the car is in an accident, the people in it will be crushed. So what do you think it? Correct, excellent for those who have tried, it's the car. So let's look at the question together. So it over here is referred to the car. Now my students, let's move on to question number four. The word retain in paragraph two means, what do you think retain means? We have options to slide, to damage, to reduce, and to hold secure. Shall we go back? Let's have a look. Seat belts are designed to retain people in their seats. What do you think retain is? Let's have a look at the choice again. Slide, damage, reduce, and hold secure. It is to hold secure. Well done. 
Now let's move on to our next type of questions, which is basically set book questions. With reference to the passage, answer the following questions. You have to read the questions and you have to go back to the passage in order to find the answer. Mention some of the improvements that have been introduced to vehicles. What are they? What do you think? They are seat belts and anti-lock brakes. Second question, what is meant by crumple zones? We mentioned it in the passage. You may look and go back to it and then answer your question. It means they allow the front and back parts of a car to be crushed in an accident. Our next question, how are ordinary brakes different than the ABS? Do you know what ABS stands for? Anti-locks brake system. Okay, so over here you have to read the question carefully. They're asking you how different are they? So you have to mention each. What is each? You may again go back through the passage and then write your answer. And you should write it in a full sentence. Let's read our answer together. Ordinary brakes can lock if the driver presses his foot too hard. The ABS prevents the wheels from locking. You can realize and see that I mentioned both. I don't only have to mention only one, no. The question is asking me how different. So in this case, you have to mention both. Our final question over here is, what can happen in an accident if a car driver is not wearing his or her seat belt? In your real life, if you are not wearing a seat belt, what can happen? Okay, let's read together. The driver or front seat passenger can be thrown through the windscreen. Airbags and head restraints will not be as effective in reducing the risk of injury. I agree, don't you? Okay, now we will move on to our third type of questions in reading comprehension, which is a summary making. As you know, my dear students, we have a question and we want you to summarize, there are some information you've been asked for. You have to go back to the passage and look for the answers. You can underline as you go through the passage, but in the end, you always have to write it in a full paragraph, a whole paragraph. Let's see. In not less than four sentences, summarize the improvements that have been introduced to the vehicles. When you read the passage, there are some improvements, correct? Now, they are asking you to summarize them. What are they? So you have to go back to your passage and read. Where do we have some improvements over here? We have what? Seat belts, which are designed to retain people. What else? And prevent or reduce injuries suffered in a crash. Okay, now we have few points. What about the second paragraph? We have what? Making cars stop more quickly, which are the what? The brake system. And it prevents the wheels from locking. Now, what do you do next? Okay, you put all your points and put them in one paragraph. But make sure when you connect the sentences, use words to connect them. Let's read the example together. Seat belts are designed to retain people in their seats. In addition, you can realize over here, uh, in order to put more information, I used specific words such as in addition. They prevent injuries in a crash. 
Another improvement is the anti-lock brake system, which helps drivers to avoid accidents by making cars stop quickly. Finally, they also prevent the wheels from locking. You always have to use words to connect your sentences, not only take points and put them down. No, you have to connect them so that they become into one whole paragraph. Finally, we will move on to our translation, which is our fourth and final part in reading comprehension. In translation, we have two parts. One is translating from English into Arabic. Second, Arabic into English. The English part is taken from the passage we just have read. Over here. There is no doubt that in the future, manufacturers will continue to make their cars safer. However, safety devices do not offer a foolproof guarantee. Only when everyone drives more carefully will road accidents become a thing of the past. When you want to translate it, do not translate word by word. Translate it as a whole sentence. Let's have a look. This is the sentence, and this is our translation. Let's read our answer. بدون أدنى شك في المستقبل سيستمر مصنع السيارات في جعل سياراتهم أكثر أمناً. And the second sentence is, however, safety devices do not offer a foolproof guarantee. Only when everyone drives more carefully will road accidents become a thing of the past. As I told you, do not translate every single word. Read the whole sentence, but you have to have the same exact meaning. Let's read our answer. لكن معدات الأمان لا تعطي ضمانا كاملا للحماية. فقط عندما يقوم الجميع بالقيادة بحرص أكثر ستكون حوادث الطرق شيء من الماضي. I hope you understand as we move on. Now, we have translate the following into good English. Now we have the opposite. Arabic into English. Read the sentence as I told you and then translate it. سعود تتسبب حوادث الطرق في قتل وإصابة الآلاف الناس كل عام سهام يعد حزام الأمان ونظام المكابح المضاد للإنزلاق أمثلة لبعض التطورات في صناعة السيارات Now, let's translate what we just have read First sentence Saud, road accidents kill and injure thousands of people every year. And our second sentence was, Siham, seat belts and anti-lock brakes are examples of the improvements that have been introduced in car manufacturing. Now, my dear students, we will move on to set book questions. Let's begin with our first question, which is, mention three inventions, innovations, that helped save lives. We have mentioned before in an earlier episode about some inventions. Can you remember them? Okay. We have three different pictures. What do you think they are? Vaccination, airbag, and smoke alarm. The airbag, it protects drivers and passengers in case of an accident. The smoke alarm, it wakes sleepers to flee from fires. And our third invention, vaccination, it stops infectious diseases from spreading. Our second question, what are the safety measures taken in a car that can help reduce accidents and injuries? Can you think of any? Okay, let's read. We have airbags. What else? 
brakes, which is anti-lock brakes, and we have seat belts. Our fourth answer, head restraints. Third question, in modern cars, airbags and head restraints have replaced seat belts. Do you agree or not, and why? Think about the question, read it again so that you can answer. Do you think that airbags and head restraints replace seat belts? So if you don't wear your seat belts and you did an accident, is this safe? No. This is false, as in modern vehicles, seat belts are designed to work as the key part of wider injury prevention measures and safety systems, such as airbags and head restraints which will not be as effective in reducing the risk of injury if an occupant is not wearing the seat belt. My dear students, we have come to an end. As you can see, we have taken reading comprehension and some of the set books. I hope you have enjoyed and benefited from today's lesson. I hope to see you in another episode. Have a nice day. Mm -hmm.